Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 21 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to add the materials on our uh, Twin Motion project. So now we're gonna continue working on this. So what I want to do next is maybe for this background, so the, the camera and then we need, sorry, the environment actually, the backdrop and then we need to offset this one. There we go. So that's good. And as you can see, this one is fixed. We just need to add grass. So I'm going to go on materials, ground, nature, and then grass. Maybe this one is good. Grass number five, and then five here as well. Okay, that's good enough. So next thing is, we're going to add the lights. So usually it takes a while to add the lights, but because we know our spacing, that will help us a lot. So here I'm going to click on tab and we need to manually add it to the location. Change the speed to number 3 so that you'll be able to add it properly. And then here, there we go. And then after that, we need to change it to at least 5 only or it will be too much for our for us so especially when we're rendering this so now here we need to add one meter and then three more and then after this we need to just simply add add it to the location If it's not 100%, don't worry about it. The purpose is just adding it. Let's start below right here. And that's good right there. And then make sure this is five. And then go and add it three more times again and then one meter each and then just manually add it to those location and then maybe we could just add one more on this side but going down and then adding it to this location right here. So I think that's almost good enough right there. So three more as well. One meter each, three more. Oops. I just add two. I'm just gonna add one more. So that's good right there. We need to add all of this as well. We want to make sure that the intensity is just 5 or 10 or else once we're rendering there's certain um, you will basically notice notice it and it's not going to be good. So the, the intensity is too much. Here I know it's 2000. So we need 2 meters and then 2 more. So 
to 2,000 millimeters is equivalent to 1 meter or 2 meters so here 2 meters number will be 2 more and there we go it's in the, those location already so I'm happy with this um, the one that the ones at the back we don't need to worry about that because we're much focused on the front but if you have time of course just add those ones as well what you can do is you can copy this four and then put it or just like for example here copy all of this and then just hold on shift and then grab it there and then manually just move this one to those locations so you just made your life easy as well and then let's just finish it up as well copy Oops. hold on shift and then move this one course you have an extra here that you need to add and then pull down and it's up to you to determine now the one that is right here is I think too much Let's fix it a little bit. This one's good. So what we need to do is to add grass and trees. Um, what I usually do is go right here, populate, and then we need to go foliage, maybe scatter, and then we need to go on our vegetation and then grass and then here we could choose what we want and then click here and then click and as you can see it will fill up this one as well the only problem with this is it's not too accurate so the ones that are here we're gonna worry about on this part only for now so the more that you press the more it goes and it will fill up you see I think in this location what we need to do is we need to do the painting instead so because this part is something that we cannot um, control so basically that's what we have to do here looks everything looks populated now except for this so what we need to do on this part is we could select this and then what we could do is we, we could do is right click here and then isolate them so once you isolate them go to populate and then you could do paint and then we could use this one the same one that we use and then we could change the diameter so for example 0.2 and 
then here we could just basic key is too much so you could change the speed you have more control but in terms of how much so the density make sure to make it like that and then here as well same idea so you have more control and it's not going over the place so now once you're done you can select this and then you can just right click and then isolate on and off so right there as you can see it looks much better instead of just using that so here what you can do is you can do the same thing so right click again here isolate this and we need to do populate paint same thing but instead of the this one let's make it 0.5 or a bigger one The only problem is it's similar to what we did before so so it, it's just basically up to you how much time you have so you can do 0.5 and then density and then click here and then you can just manually add it and then of course it takes time but it's really up to you on how you want this to look of course it's much better as you can see the way this one goes it's not over And not just simply like this but you can control the size as well so for example here the size right there everything follows along it's not too much it's not too long it's still looking good purpose you have there is not to go over but because we don't have too much time here I'm just going to add it like that and then isolate on and off here it's all over the place but here on this part it looks much better so I, I'm just gonna leave it to you guys to decide how you want it so here on in this side as well as you can see you need to add as well so on this side let's do scatter and then select that maybe here detail see the difference is a lot now for me uh, what I use is I'm gonna use scatter on this part and then paint on this part so that's the way you should
to it and then as you can see this one looks really good so now we can add in some bushes um, for here for example um, we could do detail grass not here actually give miscellaneous I have the wedges right here we can put 90 degrees there and then we could just copy this I'm gonna make it number four for the speed and then as you can see it's a lot better to handle and then we could just keep on adding maybe here we could do five more and then of course we need to delete this ones and then this one we could just scale it click on tab scale it and tab again to put it in place so that's good right there that's a good background for here we could put in something like that there we go those ivy let's just keep on adding it right here then we could add it on this wall as well it's just random that you could do wants the wet because it set the tempo of the on here so here I like the after effect so it's wet and then it looks good right there and then the way this one does it we're gonna put in some dead leaves around this we're gonna put in some trees here change it a bit right there Good, right there and then we need to add some trees so adding some trees right here click here and then just keep on adding not too much but we're going to add it on this side
and then here we need a different tree maybe this one is good I'm gonna choose this one just add certain trees randomly at the back that's for our um, reflection base so here just add those so of course don't put too much and then here we could just add as well and then that's for reflection as well and then of course the background five on the speed so that we could go back easily and then change it to four again and then like that it looks much better and then here I'm gonna change this the age of that so that it's not too much for the background change the age as well this one a little bit maybe so I'm gonna do auto on this and then we're going to change the like that of course depending on the trees those trees will change in color depending on the season so for example for this it's not going to change like for this one it's not going to change and uh, the one that we add on the back will not change and then here just add in see the background I think that's good enough I think that's good enough so let's stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below